Hey everyone, we're, welcome back to another Gravity Team video. Today we're talking tactical encir encirclements. So this is a strategy used all through World War II. It was used during the North Korean, via North Korean War. And normally what we could do before we execute this encirclement is we could push a bunch of probing attacks to see where the front line is, to see where the enemy's um, the most entrenched, where it's, where it's heavily defended, because we need to attack this town, correct? And we don't want to do a full-on assault right down the middle and enter, a, enter into a battle of attrition. So what we've done is we set up our flanks over here on the left side. And then over here on the right side, we also provided our units with some fire support, with some mortars or artillery. And then we have a tank platoon in reserve. So we've done our probing attacks. We've identified that the best route to go is just down the middle. This unit right here is just going to assault the main defense, pin them down with fire support from the mortars, and then if necessary, this tank platoon will push up and engage in combat as well. However, we have this unfortunate right flank, which is pretty much just going to get turned into Swiss cheese or colanders, depending on what you want to talk about with them, because they need to flank this right side, and it's like wide open. So this comes down to like basic tactics and land control. Like this, this flank is just not good. I mean, we had to cross this huge open field. We're going to get seen and then enter the village from the side with next to no cover. That's why we have our secondary flank or we'll, we'll call this our primary flank. This unit has the cover of forest. They just need to approach over these hills. Their main objective, their modus operandi, if you want to call it that, is to destroy the anti-tank which is located in the back of the village. This is going to complete our encirclement because we'll have a left flank, we'll have a right flank, we'll surround the enemy in here, and then we'll continue to eliminate them with artillery, infantry, and tanks. So how are we going to do all that? So first things first, we've already positioned our artillery. They're in their best position. We can just click on this guy and see that he can fire pretty much into the town where we'll be conducting the fighting. Our infantry are just going to, we're going to set them to walk in a line and an assault. So they're going to pop smoke and start assaulting. And these units over here are going to go covertly. So let's do all of that real quick. All right, and let's start clicking. Here we go. We're going to go covert. And we're just going to keep moving all the way until we get into the town around right here. At which point we're going to, oh, I forgot to hit shift. So convert, covert, and covert. That way they're going to follow the path of the most like concealment. They're not going to engage. And once they're here, they can begin assaulting the right flank. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to give this, these units just a move order over here. So let's do that. We just want them to casually walk into town and just do some reconning them, okay? So let's just go over this right to there. Just go for a stroll. March would be better, but moves okay. Now let's grab our main assault platoon right here. And let's give them a generic. Let's have them move up to this cover, right? So let's just have them and let's have them do it fast. And then our tanks are going to stay. And our artillery is going to scout. So let's grab our artillery. Let's grab this guy. And let's give him a position to shell. Right along here. Oops, hit the wrong button. Just shell the town for all I care. All right, so that's our initial plan. We're going to see how all that plays out. So let's do that. A brief introduction, we're going to watch our troops slowly get into position to do this encirclement on this field. While our left flank moves into position through the woods and over the hills, one we were concerned about on the right side began to get shot at by the enemy, which is unfortunate because our forward assaulting force has a <laughs> into the position covertly, but remember our concern was they had to cross that huge wide open field that provided zero cover. They returned fire with mortars, but it's unfortunate because they still take a lot of casualties and do begin to retreat off this position. 
thanks to our probing attacks though we were able to identify the weaker flanks and now the enemy is distracted on both the left and right side of their position this buys us time for both our tanks and our forward assaulting force to move into position even though this flank was identified we are able to suppress the Germans and they do come under intense and accurate fire, basically turning them into what someone would call Swiss cheese. If we remember that perfectly placed infantry platoon, well they actually decided to come down through the forest and end up between both the Russian and the Russian anti-tank. fighting on the west side of the map continues to heat up. We slowly pull some of our troops back as they continue to retreat and this flank starts to fall. Fortunately, some of our artillery begins to come down and heavy machine gun fire starts to suppress the Russians once again. But this battle is ever changing and the explosions ever exploding. Since our left flank or east flank distracted the Russians, we were able to push our tanks up far earlier than we originally foresaw, which completely works out for us because they can reinforce this forward position. Crossing the road turned out to be quite the challenge. Our units have run out of smoke, and they just had to step over all the Russians. Back though, our east flank and our east platoon were able to finally eliminate the artillery like it was originally planned, and things are starting to go back in our favor, and this encirclement is almost complete. Fortunately, there wasn't much of a heated exchange. They were able to eliminate the anti-tank weapons from a pretty good distance, resulting in a successful mission and a su successful encirclement. While the mission is not quite done yet, our main force still needs to get into town. They are reinforced with tanks and both flanks are pretty much secure but they still need to fight street to street, house to house, and eliminate whatever Russians are left. Some of our machine gunners, well, you know, they crawl through fire, so that's pretty exciting. While the primary mission was to search and destroy all the R Russians that were in this village, there is probably three platoons that surrender to the Germans, hands up, and begin walking out. So that completes the encirclement. I hope you guys learned something. Super fun to do. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. Have a wonderful day.